Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on first order and first degree differential equation. In that non-exact differential equation solution. Right. Given problem is solve y plus y cube by 3 plus x square by 2 dx plus 1 by 4 times of x plus xy square dy is equal to 0. Okay friends. By the observation, we can say the given problem is in the form of m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy which is equal to 0. So friends, you remember if the given differential equation is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, we have to find out dou m y dou y and dou n by dou x. If m y which is equal to n x then you can say the given differential equation is an exact differential equation. If it is a not is equal to then you can say non exact differential equation. We are differentiating m partially with respect to y. So treat all other variables as a constant. Now y derivative is 1 y cube derivative is 3y square divided by 3 means y square here is it containing any y term no so independent of y so this will be a constant constant derivative with 0 so no need to write now dou n by dou x 1 by 4 is a constant x derivative with respect to x is 1 here y square is a independent of x x derivative is 1 1 into y square is a y square so you observe friends is both are equal no, this is not equal to means dou m by dou y is not is equal to dou n by dou x. So what we can say from this means if dou m by dou y not is equal to dou n by dou x, you can say the given differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is non-exact. So how can we get the solution? you cannot get directly in this case we have to reduce the given differential equation into exact for that we have to multiply integrating factor we have to multiply integrating factor so how we can get the integrating factor means we have a different methods first rule one or method one friends we have inspection method okay inspection method means uh, you can separate the variables friends you see x square by 2 dx you can do but y cube by 3 dx is it possible y dx is possible no so in this case uh, y dx plus x dy is okay but here 1 by 4 is there so inspection method we cannot apply right inspection method is over what we have a next method next method we have a homogeneous differential equation in this case m and n both should be homogeneous of same degree anyhow you verify friends what is m here you have y plus y cube by 3 plus x square here the term is containing degree 1 this is a degree 3 this is degree 2 so is it a homogeneous friends degrees are same in the uh, each term no so this is a non homogeneous so you cannot apply rule 2 also means you cannot get uh, from integrating factor from the rule 2 so go for rule 3 what is the rule 3 we have y into fxy dx plus x into g of xy dy is equal to 0 so if you take in a y is a common means y d in the y dx term you should have a xy so dx this is a dx from this can i get a y common here you can get y here if you take in y you have y square is it a x square y square term no can you take a y is a common from this no so you cannot apply rule 3 okay so rule 3 is also not applicable then what we have rule 4 and rule 5 friends you see rule 4 is first you what you have to do means dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x you find out okay divide with n if you divide with n you should get a f of x if suppose if you are divide with m what you have to get you know same function we are taking friends same we are taking you have to get single valid function g of y so this g of y if, uh, first f of x if you are getting integrating factor is e to the power of integral f of x dx if you are getting g of y integrating factor is e to the power of minus integral of g of y dy anyhow already we did dou m by dou n dou n by dou x so now we are finding dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x friends Okay, what is the dou m by dou y you have? You see, 
do m by do y is 1 plus y squared. Do n by do x is 1 by 4 times of 1 plus y squared. Anyhow, I am writing 1 plus y squared minus 1 by 4 times of 1 plus y squared. So, uh, if you subtract it, this is LCM is a 1, uh, LCM is a 4 friends. This is 4 minus 1 means 3 times of 1 plus y squared. 1 minus 1 by 4 is how much? 3 by 4. That's it. So, here it is a function of uh, y, but now you divide with m or n. It is having how many terms friends? How many terms? Two terms. So, you verify. First, I am trying to divide with m, but m is having how many terms? Three terms. So, two terms, can it is possible to divide with the three terms? No. So, take a, a second term. What is the second term you have? n. So, divide with n, you verify. So, if I divide with n, now, 1 by n times of dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x is equal to 1 by 4 times of, means 3 also I am writing out, so 3 by 4 times of 1 plus y square divided by, uh, what you have n, n is you have 1 by 4 times of x plus x y square, okay, I am writing here, 1 by 4 means, uh, can I write a 4 by 1, right. Uh, what about this x if I x plus x y square I think this denominator 4 numerator 4 is getting cancelled uh, and moreover you observe friends numerator is 1 plus y square in the denominator you can take x common if you take an x common 1 plus y square yes here in this case numerator 1 plus y square denominator 1 plus y square getting cancelled then you will have 3 by x okay now how to find integrating it is a function of what x alone yes now it is a fourth one or fifth one i divide with n and i got f of x so the integrating factor is what we have integrating factor is e to the power of integral f of x dx now i need to find out integrating factor so integrating factor is equal to e to the power of integral f of x dx that is e to the power of integral 3 i am writing outside 1 by x dx so e to the power of 3 log x so e power 3 log x means uh, e power log x cube we will write. So finally what we can say the integrating factor if e and log getting cancelled ief which is equal to x cube. Okay, ief integrating factor is we have x cube. Now we have to multiply this integrating factor for the given function m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 given differential equation. Okay, this is the given differential equation. If you multiply the integrating factor this differential equation will become a exact okay now i am multiplying x cube then i will have x q y plus x q y cube by 3 plus x to the power of 5 by 2 times of dx plus 1 by 4 times of if i multiply x then i will have x cube into x means x to the power of 4 plus x cube into x means x to the power of 4 y square into dy which is equal to 0 is an exact friends you can verify friends how you can say this is an exact find out dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x both should be same okay now uh, what is the general solution in this case means integral of m1 dx plus integral of n1 dy is equal to c in this case y is a constant friends if you have a doubt you verify dou m by dou y and dou n1 by dou x obviously you will get equal only equal you will get right anyhow now i am going to solve now, what is the m1? Write down x cube y plus x cube y cube by 3 plus x to the power of 5 by 2 times of dx plus integral of n1. Friends, remember in the second integral, you should not take a x term. No x term are independent of x or else uh, what we can say free from x terms. So, here you have a x power 4. So, don't take this term. x power 4 y square is. Don't take this term also. So, this term will be 0 which is equal to See, now you have to integrate this, but in this case, y is a constant, friends. Now, I can let y into integral of x cube dx plus uh, y cube by 3 is a constant, okay, into x cube uh, dx, integral of x cube dx plus 1 by 2, I can write outside x to the power of 5 dx, which is equal to c. Now, you integrate this one, y into x to the power of 4 by 4 plus y cube by 3 x cube integration x to the power of 4 by 4 plus 1 by 2 times of x to the power of 6 by 6 is equal to c. Friends you observe this uh, this is a y so I can take uh, this, uh, 6 to are 12 12 so 12 is a LCM so if 12 is LCM 
and uh, take left side then uh, right side then you will have 3 y x to the power of 4 plus y cube x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 6 is equal to 2lc this one you can also write as a c1 where c1 is an arbitrary constant so friends this is the general solution for the given problem so i think you can solve these type of the problems very easily now i am giving one task for you x square plus y square plus 2x into dx plus 2y dy is equal to 0 verify the given differential equation is an exact or non-exact if it is a non-exact which method you can apply verify finally you have to get the general solution is e to the power of x into x square plus y square is equal to c so friends please try to solve this problem after getting the solution please ping in the comment box i will verify okay thank you for watching this video in the next video we will discuss another type